Top 10 of the Most Expensive Paintings in the World A masterpiece is the sum of an artist's unique vision and years of meticulous work. Even though the substance of art is priceless, collectors put a high priority on the works that creates. These 10 paintings are some of the most costly ones ever sold. Wait a second. Before jumping into the list don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Number 10. Three Studies of Lucian Freud by Francis Bacon $142.4 million. Francis Bacon, an Irish painter, created this charming triptych to celebrate Lucian Freud. A fellow artist who was both a friend and a professional opponent. Freud, the renowned neurologist and psychoanalyst's grandson, met Bacon in 1945, and the two frequently painted one another. Actually, Bacon creates two Freud triptychs, although the first hasn't been seen since 1992. The second artwork, which is displayed, sold for the greatest money in 2013. Number 9. Portrait of Adele Block Bauer II by Gustav Klimt minus $150 million. Early 20th century symbolist painter Gustav Klimt was a well-known personality in Vienna's art scene and heavily influenced by the aesthetics and techniques of Japanese art. His close friend and art patron Adele Block Bauer commissioned him to paint two portraits of her, the second of which is depicted in the painting above. Thankfully, both of the paintings were found after being among the works of art stolen during World War II. Number 8. The Masterpiece by Roy Lichtenstein $165 million. Self-promotion or self-fulfilling prophecy. One of the many pieces by pop artist Roy Lichtenstein, whose work is aptly titled, The Masterpiece, is characterized by its bold use of color and sardonic sense of humor. Lichtenstein was a part of the art movement that emerged in the 1950s. Like many of his other works, the masterpiece borrows speech bubbles and Ben Day dots from comic books and strips. Though many people think there are multiple layers of meaning behind the work, this type of art has recently been questioned with the claim that it is all gloss and no substance. Oprah Winfrey paid $88 million for the painting in 2006, and 10 years later she sold it to an unidentified bidder for a cool $150 million. Number 7. Pendant Portraits of Merton Sulmans and Upen Coppet by Rembrandt $180 million. On the occasion of their wedding, the Dutch master received a commission to paint a portrait of a young couple in 1634, both belonged to the elite of Amsterdam, and Upen Coppet was courted by numerous suitors in the city. These identical paintings stand out because they are the only two full-length portraits by Rembrandt. The number 6, Violet, Green and Red, by Mark Rothko minus $186 million. Mark Rothko, a Latvian-American painter, created one of the most odd paintings on this list in 1951. It is made up entirely of vibrant splashes of the colors violet, green, and red. But for someone who worked in the field of abstract expressionism, that is typical of his body of work. The most notable feature of this painting, however, is that it is one of the 36 pieces of art mentioned in the Bouvier Affair, no Number 5, Number 17A by Jackson Pollock $200 million. Number 17A is one of the earliest pieces in Jackson Pollock's Drip Painting series, and it was painted by the renowned American Abstract Expressionist in 1948. The artwork, which at the time received mixed reviews, looks to be an unplanned series of squiggles and splashes on canvas like much of Pollock's work. The precise manner in which each color was applied and the high degree of precision that went into it become apparent upon closer inspection of the item. This would be the perfect example of a visual illustration of someone's way of insanity. Number 4, Nafia FAA Ipoipo by Paul Gauguin minus $210 million. 
French artist Paul Gauguin, a key figure in post-impressionism, was relatively unknown during his lifetime. It was only after his passing that his works gained popularity. He visited Tahiti in 1892, one of many times he visited the island to get away from Europe and what he saw as a fake life. While many people think these pictures are not as striking as his earlier ones, much of his work from that period included local women and landscapes. And they do show a more straightforward and genuine way of life, Number 3, The Card Players by Paul Cezanne $250 million. Paul Cezanne laid the foundations for the shift from late 19th century Impressionism to newer and more experimental movements in the early 20th century, such as Cubism. One of his most famous series of works is The Card Players, consisting of five oil paintings done between 1890 and 1895. As the name suggests, the paintings depict groups of card players. With each painting altering the setting and other details, the first image, for example, has five players, but the number drops down to just two by the third painting. In 2011, the royal family of Qatar purchased one of the paintings for a price that broke the records of any previous artwork sold at auction. Number 2, Interchange by Willem de Kooning $300 million. Willem de Kooning was a Dutch immigrant who arrived in America in his early 20s but didn't become a citizen until much later. He was familiar with the concept of transitions. Along with other prominent 20th century artists of the abstract expressionist genre like Mark Rothko and Jackson Pollock, he is regarded as one of the greatest artists of the era. He painted Interchange in 1955, a year in which both his life and his work were changing. One of his earliest paintings of a landscape, it was influenced by his surroundings in New York City. Number 1. Salvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci is $450.30 million. This picture is arguably one of the most well-known in the entire world, due to the fact that Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman acquired it in 2017. One of Leonardo da Vinci's final pieces, it connects the material world and the worlds of religion and spirituality together harmoniously. The piece is presently being kept in storage until an undisclosed date, which only magnifies its fascination. It was originally planned to be unveiled as a part of the Louvre Abu Dhabi's collection in 2018. Thank you for watching this video.